Hello, my name's Stephen Clayton. I'm an artist living and working in St. Just, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate gyotaku, which is a, a means of making print directly from a, an object, uh, traditionally a fish, because gyo means fish and taku means impression. Um, I've got some very simple um, ingredients, starting with the fish. I feel like I'm Rick Stein here, but um, I've got an squid zinc or, or cuttlefish ink, which I got from a delicatessen. I've got some rice paper, which you can buy online. Uh, I've got a fish, which you can buy from a fishmonger's or a supermarket, and a simple brush or a roller just to apply the ink. I've washed the fish uh, in order to um, uh, prepare it so there's no slime on it, so that the, the ink will uh, adhere to the, to the skin. All right, first of all, I'm just going to mix the ink with a little water. And this stuff is amazing. It's secreted by the it's secreted by the, the squid when usually when it's um, camouflaging itself in nature. And uh, for me, I think it's important that we can use if we're going to make a direct print from a fish, we can use a, a substance that's um, that's directly from from a sea creature. I'm just going to use water to um, to mix it up. Sometimes you can use sometimes you can use acrylic medium, um, but I think uh, I think just a little water, and then I'll mix that up and apply it to the apply it to the to the fish. So yeah, just a little water, and you can experiment with getting the um, the mixture correct <coughs> because it's never right first time. Well, sometimes you get it right first time. Sometimes it can be a little too thick, sometimes it can be a little too thin. I'm just going to make that a little thicker. So this um, was developed by a um, fisherman who wanted to, uh, to make a record of the one that got away. You know, ultimately, uh, there's been a lot of stories um, about, about different fish and catch sizes, but the, the Japanese were inventive enough to discover a way of making a direct impression of the fish before it got away or before they threw it back. So I'm just going to mix that a bit more in the tray just to get an even consistency. And the first time I did this, I was a bit squeamish about it, but <clears throat> only because I just was a little bit concerned about how the 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 uh, how the whole workshop was going to go. But actually, it was incredibly enjoyable, and everyone involved uh, um, was really excited by the end of the process. Um, now, there's two ways of applying the ink. You can apply it by using a brush. Or you can apply it with a with a roller. On this occasion, I'm just going to use a, a brush. I've chosen a a, a um, lemon sole, a small flat fish, because um, I think it's easier with a with a flatter fish to get the impression. Just to make that even, I'm going to go over it with a roller. Don't worry if the first if the first go doesn't work out, because it's often the second or third impression that gets the best detail. Now you can take your paper and place it over the fish like that, and then just gently make sure. that the whole of the fish is in contact with the paper. Okay. 
there's another way of doing this where you can actually apply the paper directly and then use a, a ball of cotton um, surrounded by silk to tamp it on. It's called tamping. That's a little bit more uh, of a delicate process and I prefer the direct way of printing anyway. It seems a lot more um, appropriate to me. So there you go. First one, not so good. But don't worry because that happens all the time. We're going to make another another impression with the second sheet of paper and hopefully that will give a more accurate impression. I've got two there. Yeah, I've got two pieces. Right, let's see how this one comes out. And as you can see, that's a little bit better. But we're still not getting much of the detail of the scales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the tray and put it directly onto the table. I'm going to change the consistency of the ink slightly. Adding a little more and hopefully if that is a bit thicker we can get a, a more accurate impression. We're just trying to get the ink into all the detail so that when we put the paper on, it can reveal the image of the fish. So good, let's try and again with another one. I think it's too slightly too wet. And it's just absorbing into the paper. Right, that's not a bad impression <clears throat> and as you can see there's some of the scales coming out here and the gills and the fins around here but I'm still not 100% happy so I'm just going to do one more impression and see if that works. For me though the most important thing about this whole process is it's really enjoyable. <coughs> it's it's a strange mixture between cooking and making art. 
And the great thing is that if you're using a non-toxic ink, you can eat the fish afterwards. That's a bit better. I think you're going to find that with trial and error, you can get a really good impression. I'm going to try one more. Um, <clears throat> depending on the kind of paper that you use, it will, it will alter the way that this process operates. So I think that, that with trial and error, you'll be able to make, make it work. Now this one is a very lightly coated one. And I've got a good feeling that it's going to be the best one so far. Also, if you try and be careful, unlike me, and, and not get it onto the paper beneath, um, then you'll get a, a good impression of the, of the outline of the fish and not get any waste ink. But there you go. Okay, that's much, much better, much fainter. <clears throat> but when you look at it, you can see the details of the fins, and even the eye here. And traditionally, uh, when gyotaku uh, was being made, they'd leave the eye out and fill it in afterwards. And you can do that as well with a pen. And sign it and stick it on your wall. So this is the kind of uh, results that you can expect, um, ranging from the quite abstract and sort of dynamic to something quite faint with more detail or something in between like this. Um, <clears throat> I'm not an expert at this process, um, but through trial and error, you can find some really great results. And actually, it's the, the process which is more enjoyable in a way than, than the results. Uh, so these are a record of that time, that making, making the print itself. And uh, it's a very easy thing to do. You don't need much. Um, and I'm glad I was able to share it with you. Um, this has been a video for Hospital Rooms, the Digital Arts School. Um, my name is Stephen Clayton and thank you for joining me.